Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we just got done with the Angela and Apocalypse Arena. Round two is in the history books. Uh, Apocalypse was the basic, and Angela was the featured. I didn't go for either of them. I have both of them, uh, so no need. But we're going to take a look and see what our friends have done in this arena. If anyone went for her, got her... Uh, they didn't have her before. Uh, you can see I'm going for the four-star Odin. Uh, I'm not going for the five-star Odin this round. Uh, but that's what I've done so far. Uh, it's a pretty leisurely grind for me. All right. Let's get on over here. And we're just going to go from left to right. So we've got the Apocalypse Basic. You can see I put up just enough for the milestones. All right. So let's see. Now, I was telling people on my stream that if you don't have an Apocalypse, definitely pick up the four-star Apocalypse. He's worth it. Um, if you missed him, that's fine. Uh, he's worth picking up even uh, in crystals. All right. I want to make sure I didn't miss uh, anyone up there. Um, but even the four-star has the ability to make horsemen. And although Apocalypse is a great champion on his own, he's got some great utility. He has far more utility because of his ability to make horsemen. Uh, I did a video not that long ago where I made Wolverine a horseman. And oh man, that is awesome. Uh, I use that for the mutant chapter in the event quest. Uh, they may change it, but if you can be bled and there's not something else that would prevent me from bringing in Wolverine as a horseman, he destroys. Uh, now, the four star doesn't have the synergy with Wolverine, so Wolverine won't be quite as beastly as he would be if you had the five star or the six star uh, with him. But you can still make him a horseman and he will still get the benefits of being a horseman. Uh, so definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, I have the four star, of course, and uh, I even took him up to rank five, believe it or not. Uh, he is, like I said, he's a good champion in his own right. And not only that, but we already have had a variant where Kabam have restricted your roster to just four stars. You know, there was like every quest was a restriction. Um, it went from like five and six stars to just five stars, then to just four, then to just three, two, and then finally uh, to one. And having a strong four star roster that made uh, the variant so easy for me. Uh, so I still like ranking up four stars. Now, uh, I try to rank them up if I think they're going to be useful, um, if they're fast in the arena, because I'm an arena grinder. So uh, that still helps me out in the arena. Um, but most of the time, you're not going to want to rank up your four stars. All right, we're going to skip past the three-star. Uh, that arena is a percentage-based arena. So thousands of people got the champion that we didn't see uh, in the leaderboards. Uh, the three-star, you always get the three-star now. Uh, that's a change they made somewhat recently uh, that as long as you get the top milestone in any of the featured arenas, you get the three-star. All right, uh, we're going to skip over the five-star for right now. Okay. You see, I got the 5,000 five-star shards. That's all I was going for, really. Give me more chances to pick up a five-star um, human torch if I can pull him. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the four-star featured. This one is top 800. So we will see 200, 600 people uh, got the champion that we did not uh, see on these leaderboards. All right. Let's... Uh, Try and pay attention here. Now, Angela just got a rework. Back in the day, Angela, and I say back in the day, but it's been recent. 
Uh, she's had a recent rework. Uh, but back in the day, before her rework, uh, she was still a decent champion, but you didn't see her used a whole lot. I actually have a video that I made of her uh, showing the damage she could do. Of course, there's tons of champions now that can out damage her, right? But then she got a rework. Her signature ability used to be one of the most useless signature abilities in the game. Uh, what it did was it made nullifies less likely okay just reduced it now at that time there wasn't a lot of use for that at all then uh act six dropped and there was a buffed up node where you have to have three buffs or more to do any damage uh black gamer congratulations um and there was a symbiote supreme I have that fight on uh, my channel as well. Now, the problem with that, of course, is that Symbiote Supreme likes to strip away buffs. So that fight was very difficult. And uh, people, you know, they did it with, you know, different champions. But Angela, an awakened Angela, actually turned out to be one of the best counters. And I got a one shot. I got lucky, though. But I got a one shot uh, against him with Angela. Now, I had a six-star Angela. She was the first, I believe, six-star that I pulled. Uh, and of course, she was good. But then I duped her and I almost cried because, like I said, her signature ability was rather useless. And I had a small number of six-stars. I was trying to build my six-star roster. It took like three months for me to get enough shards to open one six star crystal, okay? And so when I got a dupe at that low pool, you know, I was, I was upset, I was devastated. But that frown turned upside down when she was finally useful uh, against that symbiote supreme. But then, then came the rework. Now her signature ability is quite useful. You want her awakened. You want her at a high sig. She's gained a ton of utility. I have not played around with her a lot, but I've seen videos. Uh, she can become immune to degen when she has a lot of buffs up, uh, but she does need to have a high sig. Um, over 100, I forget what the exact number uh, sweet spot is, uh, where she doesn't take any damage from uh, debuffs, but that ability is phenomenal. That made Angela so useful in so many different situations. All right. Now, final, final one. We're going to take a look at the five star leaderboard. Now, this leaderboard, uh, you got the top 300. Top 300 got the champion. And we're going to see 200. All right. So we don't get to see 100 people that got the champion. All right. Let us check it out. Black Gamer again. Congratulations. You're on that Angela hype, aren't you? Okay. Okay. I see you. All right. Let's see who else. Now, Angela, as, as you can hear, was an old champion. So uh, she didn't go very high. Uh, in the uh, arenas. But with that rework, more people want her than ever did before. But a lot of the um, hardcore arena grinders already have her. So um, the scores were going to go low. I figured they would go low. Uh, definitely not a lot of hype around her, mainly because most people already have her. And now I consider myself fortunate to have an Angela as a six star awaken. But she's still, um, I believe she's still uh, SIG 20, just one dupe. So not yet at the point where um, I would use her over, say, a maxed out five star 
um, SIG 200. But at the same time, I really don't want to rank up five stars right now unless they're going to be super useful for something I'm trying to do. Uh, so she's probably not going to go up unless I get to some content where she's really good. Then I can uh, rank her up for that. Uh, the Integral, congratulations, my friend. Let me know how you like your new Angela. All right, let's see. Uh, juxtapose, there is someone that comes to my stream that also has that name, Juxtapose. Uh, let me know if that's you. Uh, congratulations, just in case. All right, let's see if we see anyone else. A lot of people right now are grinding for Odin. I saw so many streams um, today, arena streams, folks just wanting that Odin. And I will go for him uh, next round uh, once I see what people are putting up for this round, you know? There's a reason I've never missed a champion. Very, very careful. And I go for overkill. All right. Um, not expecting to see uh, too many names that I recognize. I saw one, uh, no, two uh, names that I recognized. And uh, is that you, Pedro? I can't, I can't tell. Um, but congratulations, just in case. All right, so that is it. If you are one who put up a score that didn't make it to the leaderboards, but you did get the champion, leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up and whether you got him so we can celebrate together. If you didn't get the champion, you could also put up your score and uh, let us know that you missed the champion with that score and we can give you our condolences and uh, share in your misery. All right, but that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Take care and you all have a blessed day.